Are you excited for the all digital future? I feel like we talk about this a lot, don't we? I mean, it's pretty obvious the way that the gaming industry is trending where publishers, platform holders, they all want us to basically drop the physical games and just push towards digital. It just seems like they'll make more money. Obviously, they don't have to deal with the logistics around putting a box copy in stores. We're even to the point now where just streaming is trying to replace the box or the handheld that we play on natively. But every now and then, something will happen that reminds us that the uh, the all-digital future, even just through purchases, does have its drawbacks. Guys, if you enjoyed these videos, make sure that like button helps out a ton. And if you're new here to the Spawn Wave channel, make sure you subscribe down below. So first, let's head over here. This was posted up by Kotaku, and it does a very good job just kind of summarizing and putting a lot of information together. So I'll link to this article down below, but it says Chrono Cross and other classics suddenly expiring on PS3 and Vita. And there are quite a few accounts of this happening. Kotaku does point out many of them here. For example, like Christopher, who says that Chrono Cross actually mentions it expired 1969. So basically a day before 1970 uh, is when they had purchased, or at least this Chrono Cross copy expired, which doesn't make any sense obviously, because the, the the game didn't even exist back then, let alone the system itself that they're trying to play through backwards compatibility. Now, this would be on either the Vita or the PlayStation 3, as they're noting here. And what's really funny about this is it lines up really well with Chrono Cross, the Radical Dreamers edition that came out, not necessarily being uh, up to par for a remaster. There are instances of frame rate issues, and even the AI upscaling that was used didn't produce the best backdrops for the game. The character models, though, look pretty good. Uh, but Digital Foundry went into this game, and it, unfortunately, not Square's best work when it comes to revisiting some of their older titles. But it doesn't just stop with this one. Because this appears to have been going on for the last week or so. This person, for example, was trying to play Rune Factory Oceans, but it, they can't because of an expiration, and that's not PlayStation Plus or CMOS related. They were getting an expiration date of January 1st, 1970, so even if it was like 1969, and like I said, it's like a day later. This person over on the Vita subreddit says that all of their digital copies of games have just completely expired. Remember, these are re-downloads, games that these people have purchased. And I also noticed that there was one for Unit 13, which is a PlayStation Vita game. So we were talking about backwards compatibility for some of the retro library with PS1 titles, right? Well, this is technically for the Vita, a current gen game. I mean, I guess the Vita is like Sony's last handheld. They didn't do a, another uh, handheld system, but this is still an issue because this is a purchase that was made specifically for that platform. We also have Edmund mentioning that they ran into the same problem. And I noticed in some of these threads over on Twitter that some people were able to play the games and others were not. And it seemed to come down to if you already had it on your system and it was already authenticated versus if you went back and tried to download the game, which you were able to, but then starting it up for the first time, it would kick back the error of like 1969 or 1970. Okay, so what exactly is going on here? Because I've seen some interesting takes around this. One being that Square wanted to get rid of Chrono Cross off of the PlayStation Store because they wanted to funnel everyone towards this new Chrono Cross uh, Radical Dreamers edition. I don't think that's the case because it is happening with other companies as well who have these games up on the PlayStation Network Store. I mean, you can even look at like some Final Fantasies are running into the same thing, but let me just mention Unit 13. That's, that's not Square Enix. So the other part that makes a lot more sense to me is that there is legitimately a bug or an issue on Sony's side with the database that would be used to authenticate a redownload or a purchase. And that is kind of concerning, isn't it? I mean, one, you look at it, okay, it's defaulting back to like 1969 or 1970, which apparently is common for a Linux-based system that may end up just having its clock reset or running into an error there, which obviously would confuse the system and it would just kick back an error code and not allow you to authenticate and then play your game. But the issue here obviously is you purchase the game and now you're unable to play it, which yes, is a pretty serious drawback when it comes to digital copies of games. There is part of it where you just don't have control at all of the ownership of the title, not 
like uh, maybe a physical copy that you bought of Chrono Cross to play on your PS1 or on your PS3 because obviously you can pop it into any PS3 system because it is a uh, PlayStation 1 game, the CD itself, and play it right there on your TV. Which, by the way, is still something people don't know that basically all the PS3 systems, even just like a slim model, will play your PlayStation 1 disc. Uh, all the issues around backwards compatibility at the time came down to uh, PlayStation 2 games. So this is something that I would expect Sony to quickly fix, but it's been ongoing for about a week now. And the one concern I have around this is Sony doesn't exactly seem to be excited about the idea that the PS3 and the Vita store are still up. I remember they tried to shut these things down. Uh, the, the PSP store did get shut down, but I, I will admit, I question how many people were even using that, considering even when the PSP was really popular, or at least just, just current, people were buying it, hacking it, doing all kinds of other things outside of just going on the PlayStation store. But the fact that Sony seems uh, distant or uninterested in their legacy games on the PS3 and the Vita store, and also pushing towards this new service that they're doing with PlayStation Plus and that premium tier for all these legacy titles. I just don't necessarily think it's up on their list of priorities right now, which is also the concern I had with Nintendo. And obviously that's a legitimate concern considering the Wii and the DSi redownloads are still not working to my knowledge. So I kind of feel like this is going to be a similar situation, although it's been thrust more into the spotlight because of Chrono Cross. I mean, that seemed to be the big thing that was blowing up online when it's actually been going on for days before people discovered that, even with just Vita titles. So at this point, I wanted to bring it to your attention. If you have a Vita or a PlayStation 3 or anything that you are playing these games on and, and would be re-downloading them, try it now. Go on the storefront re-download one of your older PS1 titles, or apparently even Vita titles, and see if it's running into a similar situation here, because basically the word has to spread for Sony to even, like, kind of care about this one. And, I mean, these are people's purchases and re-downloads that are basically in limbo at this point, which shouldn't give anyone any confidence when it comes to digital purchases going forward because at one point the PS3 and the Vita were current and everyone thought everything would be good there with digital purchases so what's to say something like this wouldn't happen with uh, the PlayStation 5, the Xbox series or the Switch you know 15 or 20 years from now. But let me know what you guys think about all of this going on here with the PlayStation Store and, and these digital copies expiring seemingly in 1970. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.